internet, I am super excited today because today is the first day we get to start on putting stuff back into the garage. So pretty much up until this point, I've just been clearing out everything, ripping out all the old circuits. Uh, all we have left now are the, is the one circuit that powers the two lights, a couple outlets around. Uh, we did put a breaker box in and put some janky wiring up there from the old circuit, but we get to finally start on today putting the new lights in, which will be these contractor halo can pot lights. Um, and we're gonna run a whole bunch of outlets all around the outside of the garage, hopefully finish up all of the electrical today. So I'm gonna break this video down in two parts. It'll be one for the lights and one for the outlets. Uh, so let's jump into the lights. Came up with a little plan. The box is right here. We're gonna run the wire over to an electrical switch. And then the switch will go through 18 of these lights, which should make the garage as bright as we will ever need it to be. Uh, and then eventually I'll put in smart lights. Right now we have some cheap indoor floodlights just to get it bright. Um, I'll be doing a different video on a review of different smart lights and what I try out. So for parts, we have the lights, we have wire, we have 14, that's for something else. We have 14 too. Uh, we have a 15 amp breaker there, uh, the lights, some staples to hold the cord, uh, and then some random tools that we needed. There's probably other pieces that I'm missing, but for the most part for the lights, that's pretty much all. Here I start running the wire from the breaker box to where the switch will be. Then Tom comes over. Tom says, no, don't do that. Let's install the lights first. Let's hang the lights first. So here's us hanging the lights. I really like these lights. They're easy to work with. Uh, so they span, they can go from a truss span of 14 inches to I think 24 inches. Uh, the rails slide and then you can position the lights anywhere in between. Support up to a 75 watt bulb. They also support one um, the easy plug-in connectors. I'll show you guys how to wire those up later. They support uh, power in and two out, so it's easy to connect a bunch of lights together. And they're really cheap. They were six lights for, I think, $80. Uh, and I'll go over a cost breakdown later in the video as well. All right, we got most of the can lights up. We did run into a little problem that I forgot. I have the garage door rail there where the lights were supposed to go, one right there, one further down. So the plan will be to wire all these up, uh, turn them on and see how much light we're missing in the middle. It should already be overkill with all these can lights in here. So hopefully we won't need them. But next step after that's done is to actually put the switch box right up there and then wire everything together. The breaker box here, so let's talk a little bit about breakers. There are so many different types of breakers. But what I mean is if you need a 20 amp, or in this case, a 15 amp breaker, or a regular single, single pole 15 amp breaker, uh, there are different brands of boxes. So I made the mistake here of taking a breaker from downstairs in the box that I had laying around. Uh, I took it to Lowe's. I got the same type. I brought it upstairs, realized that when we put in the box, it's a different brand box than downstairs. So downstairs is GE. Up here in the garage is Square D. So I said, okay, perfect. We go to install a Square D breaker and find out Square D makes two subtypes. So we go back to Lowe's again, then we come back and now we can finally install the breakers. But yeah, uh, watch videos beforehand, make sure for your specific box you're getting the correct breaker. Uh, you'll save yourself a lot of trouble. All right, so at this point I have all the outlets in, or the receptacle boxes, the outlets aren't in yet, uh, around all three of the walls. Tom is getting the lights wired up, the wires ran, switch box is wired. Let's continue talking about breakers. So a breaker is a safety mechanism that protects your circuit from too much current. When too much current goes through your circuit, the breaker will trip and this will actually break the connection of your circuits. No more current will be allowed to continue to go through. 
This can happen by either a short in the circuit or the circuit being overloaded, so by just too many things plugged in all being used at the same time. So we have a 75 watt light and I want to put 18 of them up in the garage. I use an equation, I'll link it in the description below, but the equation told me that I needed a 15 amp breaker and with a 15 amp breaker I needed to use a 14 gauge wire or larger. I say larger because with a smaller breaker and a larger wire your breaker is going to trip before your wire ever heats up so you're not going to have any problems with it overheating, you're not going to ever use the wire to its full potential, but with a smaller wire and a larger breaker the wire will be allowed to get significantly hotter before I'm up here in the rafters with the light I'm going to show you guys how I've been hooking them up so this has a little panel that you just pop the clip off of you remove the panel see the three wires in there move them out now you can either uh, feed the wires in through these by popping them open pushing them on through Another way, and there I dropped the screwdriver. So another way of doing it is popping one of these and then screwing the Romex holder connector, I don't know what it's called, uh, in here, tightening it, and then instead of the wire going back and forth, it'll hold it nicely in there. So that all right, now we have them all fed through here. This is tightened down. This isn't going anywhere. It doesn't pull out like it does through one of these. Uh, and then we have three wires, so we can connect the ground up easily. And so these are nice. They have uh, three holes, four holes in total, but three holes you can use. So you can wire these up easily across different lights. Um, I have several of, them, several of them where two wires are going in. It makes it really easy to connect. Uh, and it's as easy to connect with one hand. If you find an open hole, you just push it in, wiggle it around. And then, oh, doesn't come off. So I'm going to strip these, plug them in, push them back in. All right, so they're all connected. Uh, I don't know if this is coming through the video, but you can see because the ends are clear how far they're pushed in. So you can check to make sure they're all pushed in all the way so you won't have any problems. And then you just push them back in the box. Make sure they all fit. Grab the end, or not the end, the uh, cover. done. Taking a break and going to hook the wire from the lights into the breaker we're going to use for it. Um, so before we do anything, always shut off the power to the box or shut off the power to the electrical circuit you're working with. The lines from the house, these two black ones are still live because uh, I didn't shut it off from the house, but I shut it off here. So all this is dead. Um, so shut that off. I took the uh, white wire, ran it into the box, secured it with a connector stripped the white wire off, ran the ground and the neutral into the shared neutral bar, and now the last step is wiring this, we'll cut this black wire down, wire it into the breaker um, right in the back there, secured, and then once it's wired in, you just snap it right into place. Uh, so as I said earlier in the video, I did originally get the wrong breaker. I got, so if you look at these two, this one is the correct one. This one is not, this one will fix, fit the electrical box in the house, uh, so downstairs, but that box is different than this box, so different type of connector. So I'm gonna get this hooked up and then pushed in and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Got the wire cut down, we stripped about a half inch and we stuck it in the terminal connector. So now all that's left is to snap this into place. Again, all the power of the box is off. Um, but I'm gonna put these little oh, back two feet on that on that uh, rail and then snap the teeth right here into that prong. So just see if I can do this with one hand. Ooh, nice. Now for cost, we got 18 lights. They cost $10 a piece. They did come in six packs, but $180 for light. I got 250 foot of 14-2 cable for $110. We do have some left over of that. I needed a breaker, a switch, a switch box, and staples. Came to about 20 bucks. And then bulbs, we pay $6 for 20 of them. So around $330. So for under $350, I put lights into my garage. Got all the lights up. It's, I don't know, been dark for a while outside now. 
But all the lights are up, all the light bulbs are in. It's time to flip the breaker, flip the switch, and see if the garage goes up in flames. Should be, should be fun. All right, first step breaker. No sounds. Everything looks good here. So now, let's see. Switch. Wow. I don't think I'll have a problem with light in here. All right. Uh, flip off the other breaker so it'll shut off that light. This one, and this is how it looks. Pretty happy with that. We still have, I'll still have to put something up in this spot. It does look weird with no light there. A little bit weird. But overall, no more lighting issues. All right, now on to the outlets.